Tracy's got the sniffles again though. Tracy's depressed. I'm depressed, I'm sitting there with a this on my desk. the first rule of the clandestine. We pay for our own petrol and expenses. Yes. No, yes. But the main rule is we never ever talk about the clandestine in work. Ever! But I didn't mention the name. I used our secret code. For the last time, there is no secret code. No code! Fine then. So we don't mention clandestine in work. Right. Good. So you don't want to hear about this awesome website I set up first? Not in work. Grab your helmet. Every day. And I can't believe we're parked in a disabled space. You wanted to be an outlaw. Did you not bring any lunch? No, shit. I left mine in the microwave back at work. Hoppers? What have you got? Jam and banana. I'm going to say no. Sure, Cap Tapta? Just show me the website. This is going to be the most badassness thing you've ever seen. Freddie, where did you get those photos? Online. They're great, aren't they? Oh, I think they're fabulous. A little constructive criticism, the layout's intuitive, and the colour scheme is complementary to our core brand image. But I'd rethink the photos, Butch. Click on the about us link. Go click it. We ain't none of your fucking business, hombre. <sighs> Sorry, missus. Christ, no bike. I nearly shit myself. Oh, here. Take that. I feel dirty. Do you want to see something even cooler? Based on what you think is cool? Check it! What's that? Recruits. I put out a call to arms on our web page. These are the ones who answered. What are you doing? You can't go around putting out advertisements. We're supposed to be a clandestine outlaw biker club. Jesus, Freddy! But we're a biker gang with only two members. Are any of them any good? I haven't had a chance to check yet. What are you doing after work? <laughs> Should we take these off? <sighs> Feels a bit weird, but okay. Fucking hate weedy men. I need a real man to satisfy me. Better still, a whole gang of men. She's nothing like her avatar. Yeah, those taken from above style photos make even the ugliest bird look doable. Oh, it's a very deceptive angle. I've never done this before. My wife doesn't even know him, but I'm looking for a big man. Tall, burly, quite hairy. Get those photographs off our website now. Do it now. So I was playing D&D the other week with, with my group and we have our own custom scenario in like this steampunk post-apocalyptic future where we all ride around on like, these mechanical horses and I was saying to the group, wouldn't it be great if the mechanical horses had wheels? We already have a nerd. Yeah. I was a gangbanger in prison. In a sexual way. You feel me? <laughs> so, no, fuck off, mommy! I'm on the webcam! I'm on the fucking webcam! Next. There's no children in the club, is there? I'm not supposed to be around children, but if it's in a public place, sometimes I can get away with it. Enough! Enough! I can't take any more. There's only one left. I'm Alpha Savage. It violence me. It only get more than hatred. Fighting and you don't give me start. If it's a violent fighting club, you all want me. I don't aim your man. What did he just say? Something about hatred. Fighting and violence, and I'm your man. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, he's a bit scary. Very scary. And big. Very big. And violent. Don't forget, unintelligible. And I think we should keep looking. He's the last one. I vote he's in. I vote no. We could use the muscle. And what if he tries to kill us? How about this? We'll put him on a three-month trial, and within that three-month trial, he tries to kill us. I'll admit I was wrong, and I'll apologise. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. He's in. 